Hello, in this video, we will learn to convert plans issued in Autodesk DWF format. Anyone who has PDF writer can convert DWF to PDF. So find out if you have PDF writer on your computer. In this exercise, I will be using Auto Adobe Acrobat 9 standard. That's a Adobe's writer version. Another tool that you will need is the Autodesk Design Review 2030. It's free. So if you don't have it, you can get it downloaded. You may need your IT department to install. Once you got both tools on your computer, you are now capable of converting files. Now, we are only one step from converting files. This is setting for your PDF writer. From start menu, go to devices and printer. Locate your PDF converter or writer. In my case, it's going to be Adobe. So right click, you will see printing preferences. Now, it asks you default setting standard, PDF security none, that's all okay. These three are what we have. We are of concern. Adobe PDF output folder. It's asking you where you want to save your converted files. Now you can specify it as your server where you are converting these files. In my case, I'm going to have my project, it's on desktop, drawings, DWF. Now, I want to save it as a PDF, so I will add, I want to separate from DWF, I will add as a folder. So make a new folder, call it as PDF, hit OK. Size, right now we don't know what sizes we are going to need, and we'll work on that later. Next one is view Adobe PDF presets. Do you want to see all? Select this option to display the newly created PDF in Adobe Reader or Acrobat. This you are not going to prefer to see all the results because if you are converting 200 files, you are going to have 200 files opened on your computer. So we'll uncheck that. We'll leave the size for now. Hit apply. Hit OK. Close this. Now, you're good to go to convert the files. Let's open Autodesk Design Review 2030. On the left side, you'll see application button. Click on that, click on print. Click next. Locate the files that you are trying to convert. It might be on server, so you may have to go to my computer and locate the files. For this exercise, I have the documents on desktop. This is my sample project. Under drawings, I had DWF. So, we'll add all the files first. This is by holding the shift key and down arrow. That's how I selected all these files. Now click on the arrow po pointing towards the right. That's to add those files that you're trying to convert. One thing you, now make it bigger on the page size. One thing you will notice here is some of the files are 42 by 30, while some are 36 by 24, okay? Now, if you are a first time looking at these sizes, you may not, your PDF writer may not have these sizes. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and add these sizes. So click on next, click on printer setup. We'll leave the orientation as a landscape because if you change it to portrait, it looks like a funky and you may feel it something is wrong. So leave it landscape. Of course, first you need to change it to your Adobe, locate your PDF writer. In this case, it's Adobe PDF, it's a landscape. We'll look in the sizes, and of course, we, we don't have any 42 by 30 or 36 by 24. Okay, no problem. We'll go to the properties. This window will look like a familiar to you. 
the one where you specified your output folder and where you uncheck the add of reset. This is the size is is the one which we didn't work at that time because we didn't knew the size. Now here we will add these sizes one by one. So click on add. Here we will put it as 42 by 30, something that we will understand ourselves. And now width will be 30 and its height is 42. Now that may sound a little confusing because looking at the picture it looks like the width is bigger and the height is smaller. That's true if we would have had the portrait view. Now since we already made it a landscape, it's kind of a reverse. But don't worry, you have only two options. Either to, to put width as a smaller, which we did here, or to put width wider. Or the bigger one, sorry. So it's, you try this, if it doesn't work, you will come back to the same spot and you will reverse and then it's going to work. And we will check that here in a minute. So add this size. Then click on the add again and then we had a 36 by 24 we put width as 24 even though it looks like 36 and we'll put height as 36 click add okay click ok click ok now we have both the sizes added now we'll have to cancel it because we have file selected with multiple sizes different sizes Cancel this project. Do you want to save this batch? No, we don't want to save it. Click OK, OK. Cancel it. OK. Now, we want to verify if, because you are not sure if that 42 by 30 or 30 by 42, which way was right, you can come back always and check if those settings were right or not. So click back here on the application button, print. Next, locate only one of the file from each file size. So let's pick the first file. Click next. This one is 42 by 30. Okay, click next. Click on the print setup. Change this to your PDF writer. In this case, Adobe PDF landscape. Now you should see both the sizes that you added here. Yes, we see, which, which wasn't there before. Now, for this, we'll pick 42 by 30 because that's the file size we have. So you can see here, original size 42 by 30 and paper size 42 by 30. Click OK. Click Next. And Print. Do you want to save the job configuration to file? No. Now it's running in the background and you can always open your sample pro uh, your project where you are, you are saving these files to see if it's done. In my case, I will go to desktop, sample projects, drawings, PDF. This is the file 723F. That's the one which we just converted. And you open it. It looks all right. So what we did was right. Now. Let's see what happens if with the other file size. Right. Next. Sample project. Drawings. DWF. Now we'll look at the one which was different than 42 by 32, which I believe was cover sheet. And yes, it's 36 by 24, while the other files were 42 by 30. Okay. We check that that file size was correct. Okay, so 36 by 24. Click next, print setup, go back here, make it out of a PDF, and then change here to 36 by 24. Original size 36 by 24, paper size 36 by 24. It looks okay. Click OK, click next, click print. Now, okay, it's done. This is the one. Okay. Yep, it looks all right. So we successfully added both file sizes. Now, this is a one time exercise. If you have new file size, that's the only time when you have to go ahead and add these sizes of the one which you never had before, and hence it's not in your direction. But once you build all these sizes, you don't have to keep doing this.
Okay, now let's work on the actual project. So go back to print next the sample project drawings DWL. We'll add all the files file because we are not sure which one is which size. Click on that arrow button. We have all the files. Once all the file size are files are added, this button which was inactive before will become active. Now we'll locate here. 42 by 30, 42 by 30, 36 by 24. We need to do this in two batches because we have two paper size or two page sizes. If you have multiple, if you have three, you'll have to do it in three. If you have only one, then you, you do it all in one. Now, in this case, we have two page sizes. We'll do it in two batches. So look at the first file, which is of different size, and then move it back. You do that by the left arrow. Click, click. Click, click. Now you have all of same sizes. Click next. Now in order to select, we'll have to change the settings for all the files. So you have first file selected. Click the on your keyboard. Hold your shift key, down arrow. Click next. Sorry. Shift, down arrow. Print setup. Change it to your Adobe PDF. File size as 42 by 30. You can verify here. It's 42 by 30 original size. Paper size 42 by 30. Click OK. Click Next. Click Print. Going to save now. So it will keep running on the background. Now this is a small project. You have less files, so it's OK. But if you have multi, like hundreds of files, you can have this running in the background and it won't affect what you are working on. So you can have this running in the background and you can say work on any other project. Now you think it might be done now. So you kept working, now you feel like it, uh, let's see if it's done. You come back here, blue cursor that's gone, so probably it's done. Come to your sample project and you look at the file and looks like it's all done. Now we have another file size to convert. So you come back here, it's the same process, print, batch print wizard, next, locate your project, drawings, DWF. Now you have to make sure you are selecting the other files, which you remember to be the cover sheet, and there were like four files. Now, if you are not sure, you can it's you can add a few more files, and you can see oh yep that's correct. Okay, so I don't want that. Now I don't want that because that's already done. Now you have 36 by 24, which we have not done before. Click next. You have first file selected. Hold shift key, down arrow, print setup, change this to add PDF, size, now in original size 36 by 24, 36 by 24, OK, next, print, no, next I need the background, you can see files will be added here. Let's go back and see. Now, to verify if the, all the files are converted or not, you can see here count. There were 16 files which were in our sample project or project for this exercise. Come to the PDF and you see 14. So there, were, there are two files which are not converted here. Go here and it's still in progress. Okay. So once you have 16 files here, so that means it's done. Now, you don't have to keep looking here. As I said, you can come here and work on anything else that you, you were working on.
Let's say if it is done now. Oh, that is gone. 16 files. 16. Okay. Randomly open. Fine. That's all good. And you're done. Thanks for watching the video.